Revely, Revely, all hands heave out. Revely. Welcome back, guys. My name is Ovi, and this is kind of like uh, episode three or part three of maintaining this snowblower. First, you saw me change the oil, the spark plug, and then you saw me grease the augers. Now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it down, clean it up, and I'm going to add it, put some anti seize on the shaft of this wheel. So, I'm going to take this wheel out and the other one and put anti seize in there and grease this point here and on the other side there is another grease point no i don't see one here just on that other side so there is just one i just noticed it by the way so yeah we're gonna do that today but before i start that i'm gonna go ahead and take some snacks to my chickens which are all the way over there they're expecting it they're waiting for me and today I'm gonna give them cracked corn. All right, here it is. Normally I give them scratch grains as a snack. There you go, scratch grains. Now that is not the regular feed. Their feed is right here, okay? This is 16% protein and this is what they have 24 seven in their coop. And I'm also gonna check for eggs. I already found seven, maybe eight eggs. Uh, earlier today and they, there may be another one I don't know but we'll go and check yeah they pay close attention anytime they see me approaching the the coop watch them run there's like four all the way in the back they're gonna run up here you see that <laughs> they're like little dogs yeah like puppies all right guys you hungry you want a snack? But first you have to go kikiriki for the two roosters. Come on, I wanna hear it. Kikiriki. <laughs> Just once. Nope, they're holding back. Okay, hold on. They love this stuff. <laughs> All right, let's open up in this box. And there is one. All right, this is number eight or nine. I lost track. That's Carmen. This is Layla, the friendliest chicken I have. That's El Guapo. And that's El Jefe over there on the other side, my two roosters. Now these three are Wyandots, and this is an Isa Brown, golden laced Wyandots by the way. And that's a Barnavilder behind the rooster, another Isa Brown, and the other three over there are Black Australorps. Come here Jefe. Don't be scared. Now this one's the Barnavilder and that's Mala. And someone's pecking the heck out of her. Yep, I can see it on her chest, her tail. And winter's coming, guys. Right now, today, we're having an Indian summer. It's about 70 degrees and that's, that's a record because by, the last, by this time last year, I'm pretty sure we were in our 30s and 20s. But next Wednesday, temperature's gonna drop to 22 at night. Yeah, so temperature's gonna drop real soon. And once they drop, they're not coming back up. I am surprised as today, it's a relatively warm day. Feels like early fall. So today is Saturday, November. I'm not sure if it's the fifth or the sixth. Yeah incredibly warm but now is the time to fix or to tune up and make sure that your snow blowers are working because before you know it it'll be snowing all right here we go one wibble and this is 
This is an Austral Orb. Yeah, Austral Orb. I got many huevos now. Now, if you've noticed, I've had the same clothes for the last three videos. And that's because it's the same day. I decided to record three parts um, to the videos. Because if I record one long video, people get bored. And it makes it more interesting this way. Three, three chunks. So, what am I going to do first? I think I want to clean up. No, no, no. Not clean up. I think I'm gonna take out the wheels first and put anti-seize on those shafts. Yep, and then clean it up. So how am I gonna do that? I need to lift it up. So I'm gonna get some wood to put underneath. Yep, that's the best thing I can do. heavy if I had a second person but I don't so I'm gonna have to figure it out man there we go so how do you take these babies off easy from what I've seen it's just a pin here you lift up perfect oh, it's too easy so that then you just pull it back. Ooh, there's a little bit of rust in here. Yep, and Annie sees is really gonna take care of that. All right, guys, so first things first, I already clean out that side of the wheel, and I'm gonna clean this side. How am I gonna do it? WD-40. I'm gonna take a clean rag and just wipe it off. There we go, guys. Like new again. Yeah, there's a washer here, so make sure you do not lose this washer. So, guys, what I'm going to use is a Permatex Anti Seize Lubricant. A lot of you already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and spread a little bit around here. All the way around. See that? Perfect. Now I'm going to put the wheel back on. Alright guys, so there is a little metal part that fell out when I took out the wheel and that goes flat right in this slot here and then there's a yeah there's a slot cut in the shaft of the wheel all the way down so it has to fit over this okay so let's try it on go ahead and slide your clip back on there we go clean your wheel one last time and we are good what we're gonna do now is do the other side yeah all right guys so we're gonna repeat the same thing on this wheel, lift up, lift up on this tab, push down, and here she comes. Yeah, this, this one came out a little bit easier than the other one. There we go. Good enough for government work. Did they ever add any seats to this one? Nope, doesn't look like it. rusty but we're gonna take care of that today a 
Make sure you put this washer back. There we go. Yeah, this goes back and forth. Put the key back. There's a lubrication point here, and now I don't know what this is for, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of research, and I'll be back in a minute, guys. And guys, this lubrication point is related to all the gears inside of this box. So I'm gonna have to take the cover off from the back and lubricate all the gears in the back. Um, and at that point, I'll do this one. But for right now, we're gonna leave it alone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the anti-seize. And put the wheel back on. Make sure to align that key to the slot on the shaft of the wheel. And I think I got it. Here we go. do so I'm gonna put this back on that's it for the wheels for today it looks almost brand new so all I did is I sprayed a little bit of uh, what spray car wax paper towel and cleaned it up a little bit that's it and it's nice and shiny again and I did the same thing to my Kubota mower a few days ago so it took me about an hour and a half once I unmounted it from the track there and I just took my time and yeah, same, same exact spray wax. It does a good job. I know I've used it all year and it looks brand new, but trust me, it's been used. And it's gonna rest there for a few weeks until it starts snowing. All right guys, so this is all for today. Give this video a like, it'll really help us out. And I'm looking at the chickens, they're watching me again. They think I'm gonna give them another snack. I can't give them three a day, two's, two's fine. But anyway, I hope you have a good day, afternoon or night, wherever you are. Hasta mañana. All right, goodbye.